Um, it's cold to room temperature. I'm going to pour this into a beaker that contains about 35 milliliters of cold water. And then what I'm going to do is to add 10% uh, sodium carbonate until we get a pH of around um, 8. Um, and the, at that point, the um, benzo cane should precipitate. And once it precipitates, then we can collect it by vacuum filtration. And be careful. Um, although we only had a milliliter of sulfuric acid that we used, uh, you can have some frothing to take uh, place as well. You can start to see some of the benzocaine has started to precipitate out. We're at about a pH of 6, so I don't think it'll take much more. close to eight, so I think we've added enough of the base. And then what we want to do, we're going to filter this by vacuum filtration, and then wash it uh, after it's been filtered. We'll wash it with some cold water, and then we will uh, take the solid that we collect, uh, squeeze it through some filter paper, get a weight and a melting point. There, it is possible to do a recrystallization. We'll take a look at the melting point. The problem with this particular reaction, since it is equilibrium based, um, we're not going to get a great yield and I'm afraid if I try to recrystallize it based on the one gram sample I had, we may not get very much back. So I'm going to see what we get and see how pure it is and then we'll make a decision from there. Um, getting ready to use the Buchner Funnel vacuum filtration. So again, always use the right size filter paper. I've got the uh, vacuum hose hooked up to the side arm adapter of that suction flask. We're going to uh, add just enough water to wet the top of the filter paper there. And then we're going to turn on. Typically, you only turn on one faucet, but for us, we need two. And then I just want to kind of give that a little push to make sure that everything is being vacuumed. And then I have some cold water. I'm going to rinse the contents of the beaker, try to get as much of that out as I can. Some of this solid has kind of crept up the sides of the beaker. just for a couple minutes and then what I like to do since we do not have the luxury of putting something in a drying oven and waiting uh, I'm going to uh, take the contents of the solid that I collected and put on the filter paper squeeze it between different pieces of filter paper to help uh, get rid of any moisture that's still trapped within, within those uh, solid particles Disconnecting the tubing. So I'm going to kind of scratch off as much of that as I can.
sometimes you have to be careful too, especially when the filter paper is fairly wet. Because when you're scratching off the, the solid, sometimes it's easy to get a little bit of the paper with it. since we use water uh, as a solvent here. do is I'll take this over to the balance get a weight and we'll do a melting point and from there you will record or calculate your theoretical yield and percent yield and match it up to how pure the original what, what the product should be in terms of its melting point. 